Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm Tammy and today we are going to be making delicious southern style turkey wings. Yes, when I tell you these turkey wings are going to be absolutely delicious and tender and falling off the bone juicy, trust me guys. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to cooking. What we're going to do first is we are going to prep by cutting our onion. Obviously because we're going to be using onions for this recipe. So what I'm going to do is, as you, can, as you just saw, I took the top and the bottom off. And we're gonna go in, take the first layer off. We're just gonna slice our onions. Don't have to slice it too thin. One more slice. And of course, this is a medium onion. However, you can use a large onion depending on the amount of turkey that you're gonna be using. I am gonna be using, let's see here, we have five turkey wings, about five to six. And we're gonna start off, after we take our onion and put it to the side, we're gonna start off with adding some garlic powder. You're gonna add the garlic powder. And of course, a frequent question that I always get is how much do I add? How much? Tablespoon, teaspoon, quarter teaspoon? Let me tell you something. When it comes to the seasonings that don't contain salt, just add enough to cover the meat. Make sure everything is well covered because it's not salt-based. So it's like, what are you worried about? You know what I mean? We're also gonna add some onion powder. We're gonna add some ground black pepper. Once it's not spice, like pepper or salt, just add enough to cover what it is that you're cooking. We're gonna add our paprika. And the paprika is gonna give it a nice color, a nice hearty color. It's gonna contribute to the gravy once we make the gravy and everything else. We're gonna also add our Montreal chicken seasoning. If you don't have Montreal chicken seasoning, you can also always substitute with using garlic and herb or poultry seasoning. And of course, when it comes to the Montreal chicken seasoning, because it does include, or should I say, it does have salt in it, you don't have to add too much. And we're gonna add some Italian seasoning, add those herbs, just like that. Boom. We're gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper. And this, you're not gonna cover the meat with it unless you're looking for like the spiciest smothered turkey wings known to mankind. You're just gonna add a little bit for that extra kick. We're also gonna add some all-purpose seasoning. I'm not gonna cover the wings with all-purpose seasoning because guess what? It contains salt. And we wanna be able to control our salt intake. All right, that's perfect. And we're gonna add, of course, our smoked paprika. Now this guy right here is the smallest guy out of all the seasonings that I just pulled, but let me tell you, he barks the loudest because guess what? He's gonna add that nice smoky flavor to our turkey wings so we don't have to get carried away and add too much. And this is gonna be perfect. Two different types of paprika, one for color, one for that smoky flavor. We're gonna add a little bit of chicken bouillon. Just enough, not too much. And we are gonna go in there and we're gonna mix it all up. Make sure we get the dry rub all of this turkey. This turkey is gonna taste so good. Make sure you spread it around the front as well. If we need to go in and add some seasoning to the front as well, of course, we're gonna do so. But you know what, first and foremost, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil because I wanna be able to spread the seasoning throughout the turkey. And that's why I always say, like, whenever I'm dealing with a dry rub, I like to add my oil. It helps to spread it so much better. I hate to have to go in there and just keep rubbing and rubbing, and it's like, it's not spreading. I need it to spread. <laughs> like butter and bread. Or should I say butter on bread. Just like that. Season it up really, really good. And because I have enough seasoning going on, I don't have to add any to the back because I'm just literally taking what's on the front and adding it to the back just like that, as you can see. I was checking like all of my videos and I realized, I was like, oh my goodness, I don't have a smoked turkey video. What are you waiting for? This was actually like a Sunday staple in my house. Smothered turkey wings or turkey wings and gravy. My grandmother, this was like one of her favorite dishes. Always rocking with the turkey, always. Smothered turkey on Sunday, baked chicken. I mean, she did her thing. So many different entrees and appetizers and side dishes to choose from. And turkey wings was definitely one of them. All right, this is all mixed in and good to go. 
I'm gonna add my salt because I forgot to add it. Just a little bit, not much. That's it. I was looking for my salt in the mix and I couldn't find it. I'm like, where's the salt? Where's the salt? <laughs> All right, we're gonna add some butter. And the butter is gonna definitely, obviously melt on top of the wings and it's gonna give it a nice flavor as well. A nice creamy, buttery flavor. Add the butter to the top, just like that. And we're gonna add a little parsley. And we're gonna go in with some water and we're gonna add the water along the perimeter of the baking dish, just like that. You're not gonna knock the seasonings off of the turkey wings, but you're gonna add it around the perimeter. And besides, all of the dry seasonings that's at the bottom, it's gonna pick up and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna work together and everything is gonna be absolutely perfectly seasoned. So we're gonna add the onions to the top just like this. Get it up in there. Mm -hmm. Add some to the liquid as well, because you want the flavors from the onions to mix with the seasonings as well. Now we're gonna cover it down with that aluminum foil, place it in our 375 degree oven, and allow it to bake and do its thing. So every now and then, I turn the heat up to like 400 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the date and the time and availability that I have. But you could rock out with 400 as well. Just be mindful to check it every so often to make sure you have enough liquid in there and it's not burning. And with all of that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a delicious complimentary gravy as soon as we come back. It's gonna be smothered and it's gonna be absolutely everything. So anyway, guys, continue watching. Our turkey wings so far, it's been going for about an hour and 25 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in two seconds, but we're about to make our gravy. So we have about two cups of water. I also have some turkey gravy mix right here, which we're gonna add to the water. We're gonna add a little bit of bouillon powder as well. Just a little bit. I would say about half a tablespoon probably. And we're gonna add a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Gonna go in here, give it a good mix. Make sure everything is perfectly dissolved. Make sure there's no lumpy pieces hanging around. Make sure it's nice and smooth because you want a nice smooth consistency when it comes to your gravy. So if you gotta go in there with a little elbow grease and keep stirring, Definitely keep stirring because you don't want no lumpy gravy. Trust me. You ain't worked this hard to end up with a lumpy mess No way Jose is not happening. Everything is looking perfect So what we're gonna do is it's about that time. We're about to unveil Our turkey wings what can't tell me those turkey wings don't look good Let's bring it in a little closer so you can see it get a little closer Hey! <laughs> turkey wings looking good, right? And believe it or not, at this point in time, it's done. It's finished. But we want it to be a little bit more tender and a little bit more falling off the bone, so I'm gonna allow it to go for about 10 more minutes. And what we're gonna do is to the side, the perimeter, we're gonna add our gravy, just like that. Because this is what's gonna, you know, the gravy is what we're gonna use when we're serving our delicious turkey wings whether it be with rice or mashed potatoes or mac and cheese whatever you prefer we're gonna let the gravy thicken up we added the all-purpose flour as well as that turkey gravy packet the turkey gravy packet of course is not only going to contribute to the flavors that we already have in uh inside of the baking dish but it's going to help with the thickening process as well we're going to place it back into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until our gravy is nice and thick uncovered i only had to go in one time to add more liquid you can add water you could add a little bit more chicken broth if you want to turkey broth if you want to as far as liquid is concerned but i added a little bit more water it was seasoned perfectly already so i didn't have to add any more chicken bouillon or should I say uh, chicken broth. But what I did add was a little bit more water after the first hour. 15 minutes later and check it out, check it out, check it out. Stop the presses, stop the presses. Our turkey wings are done. Absolutely gorgeous. The gravy, perfect consistency, hey. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful.
beautiful anyway guys you know what let me just show you exactly what I mean when I say tender and falling off of the bone yes I am I'm gonna take this one right here just like that mm -hmm. look at that just just, just, just just look at that <laughs> So easy to break apart it is hot so I'm not gonna go in there with my fingers but boy look at that that right there that right there is everything absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. 